Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft, the wolf's journey. And we are here with Jupiter, who is actually going to be beginning a brand new legacy of his own today. Now that I have seen how much you guys love Wildcraft and how much you say there is to offer, I have to say I'm pretty curious, especially because Jupiter here may have the opportunity to do a lot of exploring through the world so that he can build up a grand collection of different items, different things, different appearances that we may be able to use to pass on to his children and build up quite a legacy. Apparently, many of you guys play the way that I love to play, where you will start with one character and then once they have a family, if that character has something happen to them, the family may uh, begin to inherit the roles of leading the pack. So Jupiter is going to be a pretty special wolf compared to all of our wolf quest adventures because he is going to be be searching for special items. I really want to start unlocking everything after hearing you guys talk about how cool the wolves are. I mean, look, we're starting with this guy and eventually his children's children's children may look like this. Oh gosh, that's pretty cool looking. Not gonna lie, that's 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 really cool looking. Some of these legendaries, imagine. I wonder what part of their story, when in their legacy, will Jupiter be able to have his descendants become legendary wolves? That just sounds like too much fun to pass up. And there's also a lot of different things that we can just like collect at random that I have to admit are really silly looking in some regards, like the top hats. But at the same time, I'm sort of curious about them. So we're gonna be looking for those, trying to unlock different animations and styles where we can allow Jupiter and his children to possibly tell their own stories. I could make some fun little videos once we unlock those styles. Um, and let's see, that's to change his size. And this is just with the wolves too, because we also want to make sure that we start unlocking things with the foxes and seeing a new fox legacy develop and with the lynx and eventually with the very curious attack horse. Still don't know how I feel about the attack horse, but clearly you guys love it. So I'm going to say that Jupiter is actually born from one of our many, many uh, wolf quest wolves that we have had, and maybe something happened to him. Something mysterious. He was, he was roaming along Yellowstone one day and walked into a mysterious portal, and his life changed and has never quite been the same. And then he entered this wild new world where I think it's fair to say he started discovering a whole bunch of new sides to the family tree. That's what we'll say. New, new genes, new changes to what it means to be a wolf in terms of style, at least, and appearance. Uh, wolves that look nothing like the wolves of his family's past in Yellowstone. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm not really sure where his story will take us, but I think being a little squirrel hunter. Oh my gosh, I can't believe squirrels are like level 10. Are you kidding me? I think being a little squirrel hunter is a good place to start because we've got to eat. I don't mind being an attacked wolf. Like being an attacked horse was just weird, but being an attacked wolf makes sense. All right, come on, Jupiter. Come on, hurry. We're going to look for a mate today, too. Who knows where your story will go from there? All right. And we do gain coins from doing our hunts too. So experience in the wild is what we'll say. So that I feel a little bit less weird about being like, yup, and then my wolf earned some coins. All right, come on. Come on, little squirrel. What a beautiful field of poppies. Will he meet his mate in a field of poppies? Oh, that's so exciting. And what should her name be? What kind of children will they have? Maybe I'll roll a dice to allow them to inherit different coats that we have unlocked but i really want to try to unlock a uh, there we go one whole coat a day so come on little, little squirrel i've got to get better <laughs> i've got to get a lot better at hunting in order to be able to really make a difference there we go so we caught that guy he was actually pretty high level too oh wow and this is a very beautiful world I really like it. It may be a little bit small at first blush, but I think it'll be a lot of fun to roam and explore. So let's see, I want to find more squirrels, so let's go ahead and, oh, there's some prey over this direction. Let's go ahead and come over here, and then very, very soon, I think it'll be time to find a mate, so we'll have to see. All right, another squirrel! <laughs> Jupiter, these squirrels are like higher level than you. 
so I don't know about this, buddy. We need to make you a lot stronger. You're just a little new wolf lost in the new world. You shouldn't go sniffing in weird portals, okay? That's the lesson of the day. If you're wandering the forest, don't walk into a weird portal. You may be transported to an entirely new realm. All right, come here, little squirrel. All right, sorry, little guy. Sorry, it's just, it's just the way of things. Just the way of things. All right. And so now we need to fight three skunks and two raccoons if we want to complete the quest. And let's see, if we check out the map, oh, there's something to fight in the forest here. Oh, there's a beach though. I wonder if we can wander over to it. And oh, there might be, it looks like there's a female, there's a mate, a possible mate who we might have to like battle a little bit to prove that we're strong enough, but over by our den. Okay, let's turn around. I wanna, I wanna get Jupiter a mate. I think that would be very helpful for all of his wild goals. All right, come here, buddy. So lost from Yellowstone, arrived in this strange new world that seems to be full of plenty of prey, but the prey is definitely a lot, a lot, a lot stronger. <laughs> than the prey I recall in Yellowstone. Well, I say that, but we only ate elk when we played Wolf Quest. Oh, there's a, a skunk. There's a skunk. Okay, there's a lot of skunks. I recall skunks being really aggressive and able to to completely eat us and destroy us. Uh, so I don't have any more power that I can assign. All right, Jupiter. I think let's try... Is this like a, a howl to stun our enemies that we can do? Okay, well, it stunned one enemy for a split second. Oh, geez. All right. All right. Not happening. Not happening. Angry skunks. Angry skunks. Come on. And let's run for it. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I didn't want to go see our mate smelling like a bunch of skunks anyway. So you guys can just, like, back off, okay? Oh, I can't believe. I can't believe that. Can I even get away from them in time? This is really sad. Even the skunks are too tough for us right now. This is ridiculous. All right. I really hope, are they gone now? Oh, geez. Well, one of them has followed us, but just one skunk. Okay, maybe we can do this right. Oh, geez. No, it's too strong, too strong. <laughs> okay, well, if Jupiter had a family at this point, and he had had children. What I normally would say when we do these kinds of adventures is that he would have unfortunately passed away by a skunk, which is not a noble legacy to leave behind. Ah, <sighs> you know what? Let's go ahead and look for that mate because having a wolf pack hunt together might mean that we can survive the hyper aggressive skunks. So, okay, whoever it is is over in this direction now. So will we be able to find them? Maybe accept somebody new? Were they coming to see? Oh no, did they see? Did they see our battle with the skunks? Oh, please tell me they're not following me. For crying out loud! Oh look, there's the wolf! Oh my gosh, I think it was facing down the skunks! Look, oh my gosh, okay. All right, we're gonna defend her from the skunks. Go, 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 go. Faster, 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 faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's that. You need to get out of here, little buddy. Okay. Somehow I'm not hitting you at all. So let's step this way. Oh, the rain is coming down. She was being attacked by the skunks. Okay, if I can eat that, I might be able to restore some of our health. Hurry, 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 before the skunk comes back. Okay, good. Oh, good. Okay, skunks come back. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can stun it. Hey, back off. Okay, it's not gonna be enough to take him out though. Okay. Come on, food, 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 food. Ah! Okay, there we go. I got a little bit of energy back and I got a little bit of money, but I don't think, this is terrible. This is a more brutal world. Poor Jupiter, he comes out and he's like, oh, it's so beautiful. This will be fine. Oh, you can continue to stun it. Come on, Jupiter, come on. No, we were so close. <laughs> Oh, that's so tragic. We're finally learning how to fight and he's just getting beat up. All I can imagine is literally limping through the rain, pushing his way back into the den. What a, a tragic beginning to Jupiter's legacy. Oh, poor guy. Poor, poor guy. This has to hurt the ego just a little bit. And where did that female go? Still close by. 
Still the, ba the battle of the skunks and having to fight and defend against skunks is how we are going to establish our very first pack. I can't believe this. This is, this is, hopefully we drove the skunks away long enough. Is that her or is that, oh my gosh. Okay, it's her. To bond with a mate, you need to show your dominance by fighting the mate. Well, you know what? Personally, I don't think that's a great idea, but I'm gonna go ahead now that I'm figuring out how to, to, there, that's so much better. Just constantly using. I think we're gonna pretend they're having a little conversation and not like aggressively fighting because that's actually what it looks like. Like we're having a little bit more of a conversation than a fight. Hello, hello my dear. Why don't we stop this, this fighting? And yes, all right, we have successfully bonded. And I think I'm gonna name her something a little different than our normal naming theme because I wanna break away from our, our Cosmos naming theme that we have in Wolf Quest. And let's go with um, Serene, Serena. Serena, yeah, they will, like that, like that, there we go. Uh, all right, and this is gonna be our female and we're gonna go ahead and pick what kind of coat she's going to have now So she's gonna have the gray coat. I rolled a dice to see what she would have to start off with So she'll have the gray coat. She won't have anything to put on She will have rolling again. She will actually have blue eyes as well. So she's going to look identical to us That's pretty interesting there we go. Serena is now a family member and we can upgrade our mate. Yes, all right. And we bonded over fighting skunks. What a special experience that was. And we can customize them. Got it. We can play as her. Oh, and she's she's actually a little bit weak now. Oh, Serena. All right. Uh, well, there we go, guys. We now have a mate. And it was all because, all because, we were fighting a bunch of skunks. So at least we have a mate now. I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at that as a positive thing. And I wonder if she'll like follow us around or anything like that. Hey, come here. Come here. I want to get a good look at you. And she's a lot smaller than us now too. But hey, we have a we have a lovely mate. That makes me so happy. Hold still for a second, Serena. And I guess we can play as her, but I don't know if we'll actually have, like fight together. So I guess we'll have to go ahead and see. We have a mate now, and to get a cub, we need to be level 10 and fall asleep in the den. All right, so that's gonna be our next goal, learning to fight skunks and survive in this brutal world with Serene, uh, Serena and trying to go ahead and um, get a baby. So if you guys have names and ideas for the puppies, do let me know, and hopefully Serena will be willing to come and fight alongside us. So uh, the beginning of who knows what kind of silly journey and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.